No updates on what Merle. What have you been doing? I haven't seen anything on YouTube. Where's Merle? 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 Where's Merle? been lacking. I know it has. I uh, got really busy and did not have time, or I tell myself that I didn't have time to build anything. But I'm making time today. Look at it outside. It's unbelievable. Beautiful. Just got back from my, uh, or I should say, our weekly uh, Lowe's run. So um, I got wood from from Lowe's, and I always say Home Depot, but I mean Lowe's. These are. The one by six by twelve pressure treated. This is a wall. that will be the walls. This is like half of one. It's, it's gonna make up the walls. That's what I'm working on. And I almost have all that done. And I didn't get everything that I needed today because I only wanted to get a little bit. By the way, if any of you other van builders have a need for this stuff, if you can see that, it's that fat mat insulation sound control stuff, the sound deadening. Uh, the sound deadening stuff. I have an entire unopened box. Uh, I bought it for, uh, and it's 50 square feet of the stuff called rattle trap, and it's Bob flat mat. Um, it's still unopened, as you can see. I bought it for I think 125 bucks, 130 bucks, and I'm selling it for 100. So if anybody wants this, leave a comment below, and we can work a deal because I don't need it. So I'm going to unload all that. I'll do some other stuff in a minute. So are you going to have it done? Are you going to have it done? When are you going to have it done? When are you going to have it done? That's all I hear. When is Merle going to be ready? Guess what? Don't know. But what I do know is that it's all framed. It's all ready to go. These supports, these supports, these all the way up here. Now I'm ready to put the walls on. So longer as always than it expected. I got a letter in my mailbox back here. That's why I'm pulling at my butt. Uh, but the, uh, the framing is done a little bit uh, some of these pieces, some of the, the walls, these were a little bit thicker in some spots, but check this out. I got screwed today. Look at all of these screws, literally. 
uh, it came with its own, uh, it's got a hex head on it, so it'll sink flat in there. And it's, so anyway, um, that's what I'm working on next. I started about noon. It's about, well, I started about 11. It is about four uh, in the afternoon right now, I think. Yeah, it's about five after four. So it's taking me a little bit longer. I've been slow about it. Um, one of the dumbest things I did, I'll show you, is that one of the dumbest things I did was get too close to this. No. One of the dumbest things I did was I'll put this down here. So what I've got to do is take a saw and cut this off because I want this wire to go all the way up over there. You like my pencil? It's X's and O's. I found it. So anyway, so I got to fix this. Um, and then I got to run the wires from the fan to the, um, to the Orca. I mean the, uh, Yeti thing that's going to sit right here that's going to power everything, and then I'll start on the floor. So, when is it going to be ready? I was hoping it was going to be ready by May the 5th. We were going to go on a trip down south Arkansas, almost Louisiana, and see a concert, but I got to do some uh, work stuff, so I'm not going to be able to do that. So, probably before then. So, I think the walls and the ceiling will take me um, a couple of weekends, and that'll probably turn into to six months. But uh, all kidding aside, I think I should have it done pretty quick or the ceiling who knows I feel like I should autograph this first wall or something. Maybe I will. There. With my X's and O's pencil. So, this is the first piece of the wall. Walls are going in, finally. One by six by 12 pine. I had to cut these uh, 100 inches uh, and they're going up and they're going to go all the way down to the floor. I'll start the ceiling. So, I'm inside the closed van, you can see that uh, I have walls. Uh, I'm pretty excited to have this done today. I uh, got all the way down. Uh, if you can see right here, this is the, this is the door. I haven't done the door yet. Um, but after a lot of preparation, specifically on the insulation and the floors, and all of that stuff I've spoken about, I have uh, the walls in. Uh, a one, I'd say 75% complete wall with the exception of the door. Uh, again, it's one by six by 12, pressure treated pine, which will stain. Um, I got all the way down. Uh, I've just got to make some weird cuts around this, uh, this wheel well right here. But it's pretty pretty big step because Everything that's taken so long, just this prep work, this has gone by in a flash. Um, it's pretty it's pretty hard to do it by yourself. These are pressure treated, so they're kind of heavy. So trying to hold a 12 foot board and a screw and a drill um, is is kind of a it's a pain, but it's uh it's definitely worth it at the end. Um, I got all this stuff framed out and I'll obviously move this up and that'll create some more light because uh, I'll work, have to work around these lights. But anyway, we have walls. So pretty happy about that. The ceiling, the other wall is next. Um, and oddly enough, when I went to uh, Lowe's today, I didn't measure how many boards that I would need. And I bought the exact amount that I needed for one wall. So. Um, that's, uh, the, it's a small, small wins for the day, but thanks for the watch. Thanks for the patience, uh, with me. And I know I haven't uploaded as much as I wanted to, because I haven't been able to work on it as much as I wanted to, but this is, uh, this is a huge, huge step, uh, for today. So I may get the other side done tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.